Hello guys, in today's video we are going to discuss about Wildlife Act 1970. Uh, so we'll see first about this Wildlife Act and then I'll tell you a few more points. Okay. So the Wildlife Protection Act 1972, it's a comprehensive legislation enacted by the government of India with the sole aim to control poaching and illegal trade of the wildlife, animals, birds and plants as well as its der derivatives to generate environmental consciousness among the people. So this act will extend to all the states in the country with the exception of Jammu and Kashmir. Okay, uh, because Jammu and Kashmir has its own act. And this act comprises of six schedules which will give varying degrees of protection to plants and animals. That means if, it, if that particular plant or animal comes under the schedule 1, you will have one type of uh, permission to that animal. Like uh, we have, we will do hunting, right? We will do hunting. We will use few animals for our daily uses. So, based on the schedule they fall under, we have certain permissions like how to take care of them and uh, the main act or a main aim of the act is impose a ban on hunting of wild animals and birds especially the rare and endangered species endangered means they are on the verge of extinct getting ex extinct okay and uh, establish sanctuaries and national parks regulate the commercial exploitation of wildlife and its derivatives counsel the government regarding the wildlife affairs see uh, all the acts will be on like on one side and this wildlife I mean I'm telling about the writing part so you cannot modify the air pollution water pollution environment pollution I like that words so this is somewhat different from the other so you have to go through this wildlife act okay and um, now the important uh, definitions are wildlife habitat and hunting so wildlife means what? According to the act, wildlife includes any animal, bees, butterflies, fish and uh, aquatic and uh, land vegetation which forms part of any habitat. This is the definition according to the act. Okay. And then habitat. According to the act, habitat includes land, water or vegetation which is the natural home of any wild animal. Next, uh, hunting means what? According to that, hunting means to capture, kill, poison, share and trap any wild animal or trying to do so. To injure or to destroy or take away any part of the body of an animal and damage or distribute the eggs or nest of the wild birds and reptiles. Okay. The main provision of this Wildlife Protection Act is uh, in 1972 is the constitution of the wildlife advisory board with the prime minister as the chairperson of the board so the wildlife advisory board is uh, like a state or union territory to advise the state government this state government consists of all these people okay uh, i will not uh, explaining each and every point please uh, just these are just the names of the names and designations of the people involved in the board and then let's see a few functions of the wildlife advisory board so according to the section 8 of the act the wildlife advisory board shall advise uh, the state government regarding the declaration of these certain areas as uh, sanctuary or uh, national parks or game reserves or closed areas for the purpose of protection and conservation and developing the wildlife so and to, br to bring about any amendments of any schedule amendments means uh, changes okay mm -hmm. amendments and the other matters related to the protection of the wildlife okay and uh, we have uh, penalties as uh, other acts for violating so penalties say we have uh, discussed like uh, we have six schedules like uh, based on the animal and based on uh, like whether it is endangered or it is available okay we'll have certain permissions for that animal so hunting of the endangered species and altering the boundaries of the wildlife sanctuary or national park is considered as a serious offense so of these uh, six schedules in the wildlife act schedule one and part two of the schedule two will provide complete protection that means you'll have no right to go for hunting or uh, 
like uh, causing any disturbance to that particular species okay the offenses committed under these schedules are li liable to the highest penalties okay and the offenses committed under schedule 3 and schedule 4 are less that means what are the animals or birds or plants involved in these two schedules you can like go for hunting but not completely you have only certain limit for this as well and the species which are included in the schedule 5 this can be hunted free so violation of this wildlife protection act will in incurs imprisonment of 3 to 7 years and fine of 10,000 again upon like upon uh, giving advisories and upon paying penalties even still if there are any subsequent offenses of this kind then the imprisonment will be up to 7 years and fine will be 25,000 so upon all the uh, acts which we have discussed this wildlife penalties will be uh, more much more okay uh, because since it is related with the life and all and also this will be the last video for this EIA subject from my side and if you want any topics to be discussed or any other videos uh, please uh, mention in the comment section and the, the, I have discussed the topics till 4 units according to the JNQ syllabus and the 5th unit is all about case studies so there is nothing to explain in the case studies so you have to uh, make sure that you you are well prepared with uh, at least one case study uh, for one one part like for if, if it is about uh, air pollution you have to be prepared with one case study for air pollution I mean one is minimum okay and for water you have to go for water and for realistic like recent uh, studies or recent uh, case uh, service you have to go for one thing so you have to prepare with all this and for these case studies how you have to write this first the, make sure that you remember the name of the case study date and the place okay this this is the very important thing and then what happened okay why what happened why it happened after happening how many people got affected or how many uh, animals got affected i mean depending upon the case study and after that how did they recover all these losses like if we have that thing we can include okay these are the basic for the case studies if you want an example for the case study i explain one case study so if you need please mention in the comment section so after uh, receiving any comment like if you need i'll i'll try to gather one case study and then i'll explain how you have to write the details you have subheadings and you'll have uh, other things as well to write about the case study okay thank you all the best